All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about one of the things that makes a quick bonding with your dog. Uh, it doesn't involve treats. And what it does involve is a ball. It involves in throwing the ball and the dog going to get the ball and the dog breaking the ball back to you. Smoke here. Now when he goes to get that ball, he's gonna come back with that ball. When he comes back with that ball, I'm going to pop out another ball, out, and when he goes to get that ball, I'm going to get this ball, the diamond took, so I'm going to have the other ball, no diamond, sit, instead of me having to physically take the ball from his hand, I just show him this ball and say, smoke, out, flats, so I have the other ball. So I never have to physically take the ball from him and I'm teaching him to out when I do this. Out. That ball. I'll let her have that ball. Smoke will let me have this ball. Out. The boy, leave it. This where impulse matters. If your dog can out, release the ball to you when you tell them to. Then you can physically get the ball from the mouth of mouth. I can put it in his mouth. Come here. And I can take it out of his mouth. You should be able to stick your hand in your dog's mouth to get the ball back without any fights. So we're gonna throw it again. And when you do that, you can start giving them commands. You can start saying fetch, go get it, whatever command you wanna get. Bring it back. Here. Smoke. Here. Come here. Flats. You can do obedience. Here. Come on, smoke. Here. No. Smoke. Come here. Post. No. Post. Boy. And simple as obedience, doing it with your own dog. And again, if you're having problems retrieving the ball from your dog, then you can simply use a second ball to get that ball back. Sit. Flats. Flats. Down. Good exercise, too. A good bonding trick. Here. By incorporating a second ball into your fetch training sessions, you're fostering your dog's impulse control abilities. As your dog learns to wait for the second ball before releasing the first one, they're developing the important skill of self-restraint. Over time, this technique can help reduce behavioral issues stemming from poor impulse control and lead to a more well-rounded and disciplined canine companion. The act of your dog fetching and returning the ball to you in anticipation of the second ball is, in essence, a fun and engaging form of recall training. By repeatedly practicing this pattern, your dog is learning that coming back to you when called is a rewarding experience. This not only strengthens your bond, but also lays the foundation for more reliable recall behavior in various situations, ultimately contributing to a safer and more enjoyable life for both you and your furry friend. As you continue to reinforce the fetch and recall training through the use of two tennis balls, you may find that your dog starts to perform other obedience commands like sit, down, stay, tau, post, and hear in anticipation of you throwing the ball for them. This is because your dog is learning that following commands is a prerequisite to engaging in their favorite activity, chasing and fetching the ball. As a result, obedience becomes a natural part of their routine, further enhancing their overall behavior and your relationship.
All right, so we have Riot and we have one of the balls and we're gonna do that same trick with the one of the balls. So we're gonna throw this ball as Riot is waiting patiently. Good ball. And then you see, he dropped the ball. And then I can go down and pick up the second ball. Good boy. Good boy, yes. Simple, good trick to do with your dog. Um, out, sit, plot, down. Good boy. Speak, speak, speak. Good boy, speak. Good boy. So you can also teach your dogs to speak to you by using the ball. It's a good trick that I like to use. Good boy. Right, wants to play with the bite sleeve, but I can't ride, I'm hurt. I'm hurt, Ryan. I can't play with the bite sleeve today, but we can play with the ball. So he's ready. Sit down. Good boy. So playing with your dog with the ball is a good is a good way to establish a general connection with your dog. That bond um, and you can also teach them obedience and trick training too so if I put my foot over it out you drop it you need to teach your dog to release things wait speak 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 Good boy. Next on Madison Bell K9 Training, Prasa Carnario's Start Protection Training. <laughs>